Hey guys, we are getting ready to go on a long trip. Although we're not going together, Joey's headed to Singapore and I'm going to Europe. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I actually don't know what the vlog is about, but I'm going to make my way from Manila to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to Ibiza and it's going to be a very 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 long trip and I haven't done this route in ages but for sure we're going to check out some cars and then in Ibiza we're going to celebrate a 40th birthday party for my half-sister Steph and then we're also going to check out the Agrotonomy Tower Farm system this is the home from where King Tower Farm was basically brought from and Ibiza has been one of these things that I've always wanted to go to it's just that now that I don't really partake and indulge in drinks and going out so I actually don't know what I'm gonna do um, my half-sister said they have one night of energy to go out so I might as well join the join the festivities because the saying is when in Rome <laughs> did you overpack dropping honey off this is Terminal 3. I come with you. No, you come with me. You're coming with me. It's finally in the lounge and just sat down. Long journey for me. I haven't done this route in ages. The last time we went to Europe was before the pandemic. So, not looking forward to the long flight and the inactivity. But hopefully we can get some rest on the plane. Flights today. Still here in the lounge. Joey left already. Or oh, sorry, no. Joey's actually delayed too. Usually I don't post. It's okay. Welcome to Hong Kong International Airport because our flight was delayed. Then uh, the waiting time's not going to be that long. I'm just gonna look for my gate. We have about three hours to kill. Some quick dinner and we'll walk around the airport again. Charging all my gadgets. Just got out of the lounge and I have roughly an hour and 20 minutes before our flight. So I decided to walk around the airport first and get as many steps as I can before I board the flight because it's gonna be 13 hours of sitting and not much places to stretch your legs and you know get your blood flowing so instead of just sitting down and waiting for the flight I don't know what kind of food we're gonna get on the flight but I did request for the vegan meal and this airport's quiet now but a while ago it's super bustling I guess the next time I see you guys will be in Frankfurt already so for you guys, it'll be like a few seconds. For me, it'll be like 14 hours. Boarding. Man, welcome to Frankfurt. Just waiting for my ride. Finally got out of the airport and I'm hungry. I didn't eat so well and I only slept like five hours on the plane. The plane ride here had a lot of triggers for me dating back to 2013 when my dad got sick and then we landed here and he had to go straight to the hospital on the third day but I'll talk more about that later when we get to the hotel. Right now I want to get out of the airport so I can shower and order some real food. This is Bjorn. Hello. Thank you for the pickup. <laughs> so we're now headed to the Marriott and the weather's nice. It's so dark in the room. I got a small room. Checking out the view of the 23rd floor of the JW Marriott. This hotel used to be the Jumeria Hotel and it's no longer that, but I think it's just the same hotel. Got a super small room because Joey's not with me and I'll only be here for a few nights. So I want to thank Bjorn for picking me up in the airport and I was saying in the plane I had a little trigger because last time I have like vivid memories of taking this flight 2013 and having yeah flashbacks of flying my dad over and then just a few days after he got sick he had pneumonia and then he went from bad to worse to almost died and I basically stayed in Frankfurt for four months it was a very traumatic moment which actually also led me to trying to figure out myself and then realizing that you know I wanted to explore myself and be more of who I thought I should be 
and which also put Joey in a dramatic event because she thought she was losing her loved one. My bag's here. Yes, please. Yeah, basically put Joey in a dramatic event because she had to figure out what she was gonna do if she lost me or if we broke up. So it's a very stressful moment in our lives. That was 2013 and we landed here October. Joey came in December. My dad was still in ICU. We basically left right at the end of January, which was my four month mark already. And I grew in love with Frankfurt and I also have yeah, a lot of very, very vivid memories with Frankfurt and my experience here. I'm happy to be back. I have some energy now, but I think I'm gonna fade later. I'm gonna try to take a nap this afternoon and then basically yeah, head out tonight and see some friends, catch up, and then hopefully tomorrow we can check out some cars. That's the whole reason why I decided to stop by Frankfurt, so we can check some cars tomorrow. I haven't seen my Audi RS6 Avant. It's been here for God knows how long already, and it hasn't been driven. Yesterday, I didn't continue the vlog in the afternoon because I actually just walked around, looked for some vegan restaurants, and didn't do much activities. Yesterday was holiday because everything was closed. Today, we're gonna go to my favorite place here in Germany for cars. It's called Klassikstadt, and they have a lot of dealerships downstairs and a lot of old cars upstairs, and it's a very eclectic building. One of my goals before when I was building Car Porn 2.0 was to actually do something like this where it's a brick building with car elevators and it's just such a beautiful place. But anyway, I'm excited to look for some cars and then we're gonna get the Audi RS6 this afternoon because tomorrow we have a special activity. So let's wait for Bjorn. You guys wouldn't believe it, but I bumped into Steve Aoki here in the hotel. He's staying here because he has a event tonight and I saw his schedule on Instagram and it's so crazy. And I think Bjorn brought the 911. Oh! It's so Hello, nice. Good morning. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go to. Uh... We are in a 1989 Targa Gembala 911. Yes. And Bjorn imported this back from Japan to yeah. Germany. So it came from Germany, went to Japan, and came back to Germany. That's a new Lamborghini. Still beautiful. Not, uh, selling Morgan. Back to car spotting. Sorry if I'm a bit low energy, but jet lag plus a lot of food is slowing me down. Yeah, sorry if I'm a bit low energy, but jet lag plus a lot of food is slowing me down. But this is the McLaren Artura, an actual door handle. Sorry about the weird lighting condition, but it looks like a 570 in a way with the front design. And the problem with McLaren is you can't tell which is which because they look so similar already. But check out this Indian. This looks super sexy. Inside the showroom, I see a 765 LP. And then the 720, the Artura. Apparently, since last time I came back, the Lamborghini dealer moved out of here, and this is now all McLaren. And they moved to the side, and then Bugatti, which you also used to be here, moved to the back. This bike is so sexy. Uh, that's how the Morgan looks underneath. They still use wood. We had a chance to test drive the Artura, but I said no because I never get one. This is the McLaren service center over here. Oh, very rich. This is a 765 LT just parked outside. Waiting for service probably. It's a Bugatti Chiron exposed carbon. Oh, nothing. You know. Check out the McLaren Senna. Now that's something to look at. This is a special edition with the Gulf livery. I know you can't see it much through the glass because of the reflection. Look at that. 
So that's actually offered to us a long time ago. I wonder if anyone's bought it yet. Why hasn't anyone bought it? Oh wow, I love the gold exhaust. <laughs> that's so beautiful. I can't believe it. No one has bought this car. It's like 1.8 million euros. It's one of five in this color and one of 20 globally. The McLaren LM Senna. There you go. LM on the wing. Beautiful exposed carbon along with the beautiful custom paint. Truly a work of art. Here's an interesting car. Nice rally car. Look at the turbo fan wheels. So Klaus is reading the description. This is an original factory rally car and it's for sale. So not much to see now on the second floor. They actually closed the back wall over there, which means we can't pass through. And I'm starting to droop in energy. Now there's also a problem with the Audi RS6 tomorrow. We won't have it because the registration is not updated. So Bjorn's actually going to prepare one of his cars for me. Okay, Klaus is saying there's one more floor going up. That's literally a chair with a V8 small block. Gas and brake and you sit on top of the engine. Direct steering. That is beautiful. 550 on the plate. This is a 964 RS. How much is this one? It's probably very expensive already. It's not for sale. It's not for sale. It's a collector car. Yeah. Look at that. The Lamborghini Countach. I think that's the Lamborghini Ultimate. Mostly customer cars. Hello. Yeah, this is a Mercedes. Uh, yes. So Klaus was arranging for us to see a private car collection here. Are these single owners or multiple owners? Multiple owners. Wonder what cars we'll see inside. Hello. Hello. So guys, sadly I cannot show you the cars that are in here because it's a private collection. But we have a loaner car for tomorrow. Drop the top, going to Nürburgring. <laughs> this is a classic Mercedes-Benz Pullman. We actually have one in the Philippines. First car with all the hydraulic air suspension. Everything moves soft. We have one last stop. We're gonna go to Bjorn's shop so that we can check out uh, Lamborghini Technica. It's an interesting color. It's a ride for tomorrow. At least it's working pulled out of storage and this is Bjorn's workshop check this out super special color this is the Lamborghini Technica brand new oh I love the trim of the wheels love how they flatten all this out start and stop the stock exhaust is so loud already back to the hotel and we're gonna valet the car. I'll see you guys again in tomorrow's adventure.